Women's Coalition for Change, Gift Ostalos Siziba. Thank you. The year is 1993. 13 years after the nation of Zimbabwe was birthed from a long, brutal war of liberation from Rhodesian colonial rule. Four years after a genocide against the devilish speaking minority that claimed over 20,000 lives of ordinary people. This is a year that I made my entry into the world, born to a gardener and a housemaid in Chapalala in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. They named me Gift, calling forth the future from their dreams. Little did they know that those hopes and dreams would be thrown in the flesh. 2008 brought with it an economic crisis that led to rest the hopes for a better future and ravaged the lives of ordinary people and my family included. At the age of 15 years, I was employed at a grinding mill, but still the man that I got was not sufficient to fund my education. And this education was to me the only platform and the only gateway out of poverty. In those hard times, what drove me was the pursuit of an idea, an idea that could transform my life transform the life of my family, the life of my countrymen, and of course, the life of Africans and the continent that I loved the most. The idea of freedom with dignity, the idea of freedom with equality, and more importantly, freedom with expression. I took, I took action to bring hope so listening to the introduction uh, from Gift Ostalos Sesiba, you can actually see what, uh, what he went through is what we went through. Zimbabwean government uh, since 1980 uh, failed the people of Zimbabwe. Uh, if you look at the issue of Kukura Wondi, they failed it, uh, they failed to end it. From there, they, they went on to uh, ESAP, from ESAP, they went on to the issue of uh, compensating all veterans, from the issue of compensating all veterans, land reform program uh, which was rushed from there you could actually see that um, the Zimbabwean government is uh, continuously failed the hyperinflation in the nation of Zimbabwe uh, the politics of violence the politics of hate and uh, fast forward to 2008 2009 we were not able to attend school lessons and um, uh, that is a generation which has destroyed fast forward 2009 to 2013 gnu is in place and it was fixing a lot of things and uh, fast forward to 2014 it came again it destroyed everything it destroyed the hope of the young zimbabweans who were beginning to rise in business in every sector so, uh, coming the coup, which came in 2017, and uh, five years down the line, uh, people's bank accounts were looted uh, once again, and we lost everything. We lost value, we lost savings, uh, nothing is working. The funeral policies lapsed, the uh, insurances, the, everything is, is failed in the nation of Zimbabwe. The salaries are poor, and um, the civil servants are not delivering as they're supposed to because they're not being paid. And looting and corruption is taking precedence in the nation of Zimbabwe. So it takes young people who are focused like Comrade of Stalos to unite, to work together, and uh, make sure that they bring that necessary uh, change in the nation of Zimbabwe.